Hey y'all, welcome back to the ranch. I'm Jared Paul, and today is raining like hell outside, so I pulled a couple of trident maples inside, um, and they were attacked by some rodents. Some mice ate up the trunks, really girdled them uh, the winter before last, and so last year I basically just let them grow. I didn't mess with the roots, I didn't mess with the roots this year, and I didn't prune it last year, so last time these things were pruned were spring of 2022. And normally they would be huge bushes, but because they went through such a traumatic experience with getting um, the base of the trunk just gnawed at, uh, they look like a normal trident maple with one year of growth going into uh, spring season. So they are the first that are getting ready to pop because I didn't mess with the roots, like I said. So while my other trees are settling in uh, with their new root systems kicking off, uh, I'm gonna get to pruning these. So while I got the kids napping, we're gonna get to prune it. That's what's coming up on today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. All right, so here we have them, a couple of twins, straight upright. These were bare rooted, sent to me, one year old bare rooted seedlings from Bonsai Ken on eBay, but this was 2018. So they're getting some nice height and tridents as far as maples go are very good at giving you some nice little branching, fine branching uh, and not too much leggy growth from what I've seen. The sugar maples and red maples are much leggier. They get big, long, wider branches on new growth. So uh, these are really great for bonsai along with those awesome attractive trident leaves. So I'll show you a little bit of the girdling I was talking about. There we go. So that was really rough on them. And that's also why I left the moss, almost like a band-aid. And this one too. So there was a third one, you know, right here up front and that thing bit it. But, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna step forward. I'm gonna wake up JJ. Okay, so anyways, we got some nice ground cover. Oh, Jesus, Jared, I did. All right, let me get him back to settled, and we'll get back to this. Take it down to that height, or maybe even lower. And we'll just clean it up here, pull stuff like this out. And I'm going to get JJ, and he's going to do it with us. So stand by for that, y'all.
save the day. So I did some cleanup work with Jay. And I kind of spared you, like, um, the sound effects. <laughs> He just woke up hungry, and Mommy was putting Stella down, so Laura's always saving the day. All right, I think this is going to grow in nice. You see where it's starting to turn on here and activate. It's got those nice little light green petals. They do get a little crawly, so I'll just trim them throughout the season, make sure they stay enclosed in that area. Like in the thick moss, I'm gonna leave that. I could see it's healthy down there. It's not really like sticking to the trunk, so I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, but otherwise, solid pruning. I'm excited to finally get some love to these things. Just watching them last year was torture because I lost more than half of them that were girdled, so. These two are pretty special. And now that I'm looking at them, that's just too much. Boom. All right, cool. So that's gonna do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai, y'all. Show you what it's like outside. Well, it's let up a little bit, but it's just rainy and nasty as hell. Stella and I decorated our Easter tree over there, that dead 14-year-old pomegranate. That I think I'm going to varnish the trunk because it's starting to lose its bark and it's really cool looking. So I might just let it lose all of its bark and then uh, do some sort of protectant polyurethane or something. And keep it like a seasonal tree, Christmas, Easter and such. So anyways. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. That's going to do it for today's episode of Jarhead Bonsai. And for my family and yours, cheers.